We are representing European specialty food ingredients, which uh, is an organization that has member organizations, industry organizations from European countries and, uh, and um, businesses. But we are active actually globally with our businesses. And there in, in global businesses is a more and more uh, competitive landscape. And we need to do a lot of innovation actually to, to stay on the market and be successful. And that means also we need to work with Codex and need to have, for example, new substances approved, for example, or have new uses for existing uh, substances. And there is where Codex comes, in, comes into play and where, why we are here. So Dirk is our chairman of the working group in uh, specialty food ingredients. I'm your vice chair, so we often meet uh, at, at, uh, at the Codex events, like the commission today. And we also appreciate the fact that uh, the governments who are here are very approachable. So we, we have done uh, a way to, um, to provide information because it's a very technical business that we are in and not, a, yeah. not everybody, uh, it's not easy to understand. So, so we have a hard job trying to, um, to explain why something is needed and, and the safety aspects. And it's very good now with governments uh, to, to talk about the different uh, needs and, and, and the aspects of safety, quality, shelf life, and as well as Derek said about the globalization for uh, what we see is that, uh, yeah, we call it emerging markets. We'd like to see that participation because food is, is, is all everywhere. The shipments of food is, uh, I mean, it goes from, from many countries of the world to the other countries of the world. So, so Kodak plays a role. This is new compared to the past. So there is a pressing need for good standards on hygiene and quality.